Okay, so we got the solid tire inside here. And what we need to do now is pry the rubber insert onto the rim. Just like what I'm doing. We do have specialty tools for this that I normally use, but I figure you guys at home would probably be, just be using screwdrivers anyways. So I might as well show you how you're doing it at home, right? Okay. So the insert's in here now, but now we got to get this tire bead inside the rim. On the other side, it's already perfect. Okay, so now what we gotta do is just like you would do at home, we gotta get uh, the screwdriver in here like that because we need to get this bead inside here, inside this rim. So I'm trying to make this realistic as possible. That's why I'm using these crappy screwdrivers. <laughs> All right, let's see. See, that's what's going to happen to you at home, so I'm just trying to be realistic and show you what's going to happen. You get the screwdriver in there, just like that. Hold it down with your belly if you got a belly like I do. And then uh, you're going to walk it. As soon as you start um, walking this bead back into the rim, um, the tension is going to keep it inside. See? So yeah, I pull this out and it stays in. When that starts doing it, you don't need to keep any screwdrivers inside, and you can just start walking it. But you want to make sure you push down on it so the bead goes in. Okay. Now, you want to get some nice um, wheelchair tools if you want. Uh, the, the sort of like pry bars that keep you from scratching up your rim too. But this isn't an expensive rim. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm walking the walking the screwdriver down, probably about three to four inches at a time, just like that. A lot of people use soap and water and stuff like that, but for something as simple as this, you don't really got to do it. But you want to use good tools. Craftsman is pretty good. Of course, we know there's other tools out there, but I don't like. Taiwan tools. Anyways, that's what we're doing. That's just part of the tire here. See, I'm wedging it in between like that. And then you can take a screwdriver and push it down in. After you walk it all the way around, you want to make sure that um, all of its um, is flush inside the rim so so you won't have like this sticking out like this is right here Oops. so be careful use some good tools um, you should wear safety glasses but uh for argument's sake i'm wearing them since the video can't see my face See now it's getting really tight here, really tight, and I can still use the same screwdriver. See and the tension is keeping. See now it's like it's even harder. So see, hear that snap in. So all around the bead, you want to make sure it's all in there, nice and snug. That's it, both sides. You want to check because sometimes the other side might have came out and you didn't know it. Okay. Good luck to you.